You're listening to the K-Pop Cast. On this special episode of the K-Pop Hot Issue series, we'll be sharing and discussing our predictions for K-Pop in 2019. From what we've seen this past year, what else lies in store for the state of K-Pop in 2019? Do we have any scandals on the horizon? Could an underrated K-pop group have an unexpected, disruptive, big breakout year? And what comebacks do we hope to see the most? I'm Ariana, and PD Nim Michaela joins me for this episode of K-pop Hot Issue. Yes, hello everybody. And as a reminder, the K-pop Hot Issues are the unpublished, oh sorry, unpolished, <laughs> unedited <laughs> exactly. shows. <laughs> Where we publish as soon as we're done recording to get content out quickly. For our usual polish, check out our last episode on Red Velvet's Really Bad Boy. Or stay tuned for our big end of the year episode we are editing now. Woo woo woo! <laughs> burr, 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 burr. Editing as we as we speak. So um, it's now the end of December. It's mm-hmm. exactly December 19th, so we're heading into right before Christmas time. It's the perfect time to look at both the behind us and the ahead of us. Mm-hmm. So, Michaela, yes. what's next for 2019? Okay, well, we can for sure say that there are at least three things we know will definitely happen in 2019. For okay. sure. <laughs> and perfect. That's <laughs> that's Big Hit's new band. Yes. Okay, so that's C- there. it's Big Hit, but it's CJ E&M produced as well yes and they're gonna do a show is that true probably i think that's true yeah probably okay there's usually some kind of like show showcase every time a new group debuts okay and do we do we think because did cj and m do produce 101 yes do we think it's gonna be like big hits produce 101 probably like with the trend (laughs) that we've seen so far with you know uh reality show uh, elimination group things is probably going to uh-huh. be like that. Okay, so we know we're getting a big hit new band, probably a show. Okay, cool. Mm-hmm. What's next? Military enlistments. Oh, so God. we definitely know that Sungri from Big Bang, Exos, Schumann, Oof. and N and Leo from Vix are going to be enlisting, enlisting probably next year. Oof. Yeah, I mm-hmm. had to look that up and look at some of the other ones, and there's a lot of people on that list. Um, ben, uh, uh, Youngook is on there. Um, I think a couple of people from BAP, a couple of people mm-hmm. from Block B. It's it's going to be a big year. It's um, it seems like it's all of the maknes from um, o- you know OG uh, two like Generation Two. Yeah, if we're going to call it Gen Two. Yeah, and then like the the old the oldies the the youngs of of all the Gen three, you know. Yeah, it seems like it seems like we've got that's what we have going in this year. Yeah, and with that though, we did get to see great solo re- releases from these people. Like Sungri had a great solo release. Uh, Leo had also had a solo release this year, and mm-hmm. we didn't mention it, but Onyu from Shiny, he's mm-hmm. also enlisting. Uh, the, he the, just did. Yeah. So yeah. he had a good solo release up before he went. So th- we've had goodbyes for these people, but it's still sad to see them go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And we know they're coming back, but it's like that. It always feels like you're losing something in those two years, you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Okay. And our third for sh- faux show. Oh, 2019. <laughs> uh, debuts. So we've got new goos, new groups mm. coming out, possibly uh, NCT maybe de- debuting a new kind of China line unit called oh, NCT yeah. Vision. Which they should have they should have done in 2016. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Okay, cool. So we're finally getting new NCT. Vi- they said Vision, right? Well, that's the that's the name that they have uh, trademarked now. Okay, but we okay. don't know exactly what it's going to be called. But it's probably going to be an all Chinese member or just a regular just Mandarin release from them. Mm-hmm. 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 I've heard that like the only non Chinese member is Ten, possibly. We, uh, we don't actually know who's in it, right? <laughs> yeah, not not officially anyway. Okay, cool. 
as of right now. And okay. then JYP, new gr- new groups from them, a new girl group, uh, a Japanese girl group, I believe it's, it is. I oh, don't, interesting. Mm-hmm. We don't know exactly the details on them. Some people think that they might be the group that's going to be kind of the antithesis, antithesis to Twice and how Twice oh. has been doing really cute concepts this year. This might be like our new sexy girl group from JYP. Yeah, that's really smart, actually, because, yeah, I guess we're going to, like, see in some of our predictions there, but it would be interesting to see if they could get, like, a, another, a different version of Twice, mm-hmm. if either we're going to get it from Twice or somebody else. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, and then, I I I know I added this here is our, <laughs> one of our lists. I, I believe we're supposed to get a new girl group and a boy group from YG, both of which are going to come through TV shows because they have yeah. Treasure Treasure Box right now. Treasure Box is still going on right now. Uh, and that's the boy group. Yeah, that's all boys. Okay. And then I heard that there's going to be a girl group too. Possibly. Like, I mean, but with the track record, like Treasure Box is the second elimination show that he's done this year and the uh, last one nine. yeah <laughs> yeah we know in the record mix nine nothing really came from it so mm-hmm. it's it's it could happen but with the track record that we have from this year it probably won't happen or at least they won't come from treasure box or mix nine maybe these hidden dungeon trainees are going to be part of it interesting mm. interesting oh oh yg yeah well we had um we ended up going to like our wonderful listeners through our K-pop <laughs> chat to discuss the same question. Yes, and I wanted to share a couple of their thoughts for 2019. Mm-hmm. Um, first, we had Emily Jewel Aaron Hadel, also known as EML Hadel, on Twitter. She said, "As BTS breaks more into the mainstream and solidify themselves as true household names, mm-hmm. I see more groups starting off where BTS was two years ago in the West. I picture it being Monster X or Got Seven." I'd say NCT, but I can't see people wanting to remember 10 plus people. <laughs> I know you have thoughts on that, Michaela. I, I think that that's actually pretty true. I remember when I was getting into BTS and I was like, there's no way Americans mm. are going to want to like learn seven people's names. Like yeah. we we're used to five here, you know? Yeah, we are used to five. But I think, though, it, it's really the fandom that's going to take them. And mm mm-hmm. NCT, obviously, if you're a fan of NCT, you're used to this the name thing not being an issue. But in general, the like just having BTS is very it's introducing this idea of having more than just five people to a group to the American market. So, but like eighteen, y- yeah, and that's why there it's not just NCT. It's NCT one twenty seven, and Ugh. allegedly that's supposed to be a group that has a very fixed number of of members not necessarily a limited number of members even though technically they haven't stuck to that because they added Heichan and yeah so no Heichan was always there they added oh really uh, they originally it was um there were the seven of them it was oh my god I'm gonna I'm gonna bring myself as an original NCT fangirl and then immediately say like Ugh, <laughs> but then I lost it so quickly um, it was uh, the originals um, original seven and then they added Johnny and Do Young right and then they added right. Jiwoo mm-hmm. so yeah it's interesting it's an interesting conversation to have I do think that the one thing we can say is that NCT has a better chance than a lot of these groups because they're coming from SM and SM has a SM. lot of resource resources. A- and in their their genesis of the group, they are designed p- to for the international market. They have English speakers. Yeah. They have people that speak multiple languages. This is what they were made for. Basically. Yeah, I'm interested to see because it's funny because looking at NCT and what they were built to do, BTS has broken all those rules. Mm. You know, it, it's going to be interesting to see. But yeah, I do think I I actually agree with um, Emily that like Monster X, I think, is the biggest chance. But then Got7 is going to be the interesting one because I just saw them this past year and mm-hmm. that show was amazing. <laughs> and it could like they all most of them actually speak pretty good English now. So, yeah, we'll see. OK, we'll see. Moving on. Yeah, Moving on. <laughs> Our <laughs> listener, Ashley Rose. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong. Uh, she has three points. So her first one is, I feel like Hyanna and Edon will definitely return to the music scene in the beginning of the year. Mm-hmm. Number two, I can see some big BTS things happening, maybe some not great things. Sad face. And three, some big, some other big group will break into the American industry. 
And like we said, that probably Monster X, probably God Seven, probably NCT because of yeah. just what they've been doing this year. Precedent, yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, I think that pretty was pretty consistent with everything we've thought too. Yeah. And I definitely think Kiana and Edon. Wow, that Instagram is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay, and then our our lovely friends over the K-pop hot pot. They said Super Junior Super Show in the U.S. is definitely going to happen next year. Icon will slay and prove 2018 wasn't a fluke. Mm. Dabbing will probably still be a thing. Um, and the <laughs> K-pop cast and the K-pop hot pod will have more collabs. Woo. And if we can think anything is true, it is definitely that last point. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> like already like on the list of things to do next year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, um, so as you can see, uh, we also do not have p and Steph to join us live. No, um, just us. Yeah, just <laughs> us. But they did share their thoughts with us, so we're going to share those with you guys now. Um, yes. So Steph only actually had a couple of predictions for us, which mm-hmm. is pretty straightforward, actually. She actually agrees that Hannah and Edon are really, like, right for a big comeback this year um or as peter's been calling them hyundan Hyundan. (laughs) um she said following in jay park's footsteps would be a-okay with me so Mm -hmm. i think that i think we're all like the minute it happened we're like go to gay go to aomg go please (laughs) like so we're all happy to see that possibly happen. Yeah. Um, she also, for her second point, said she is hopeful that Blackpink will wake up and take their rightful place as the baddest female thr- on the baddest female throne. Ooh. Which I is, know you might have some. I just, I don't know. <laughs> We'll I see. Think that, we'll see. Yeah, I think that it would depend on Papa <laughs> YG, and I just don't have a lot of faith in that man. I do yeah. think that for me right now, the the baddest females out there are the really bad girls going <laughs> they're bringing they're bringing all the heat and i'm going to see the sweet sweet babies of red velvet so soon and i'm so excited about it yeah <laughs> i got tickets to see them <laughs> okay um, okay moving yeah. on moving Pilo. on <laughs> <laughs> i'm just jealous because i didn't get tickets i know anyway i know Pilo, on the other hand had a lot of thoughts for 2019 yep. as expected um first one there's about to be some Booty, booty, booty rocking everywhere. Mostly <laughs> from Hyorin and Jesse. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I, I would love to see it's, that. Uh, their I think it's as, much, it's as much as a hope for him as it is a prediction. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Okay. And then Big Hit's new group will probably be hella mediocre. Uh, if it goes through a CJ ENM TV show, I wouldn't fully discount that theory oh okay. i i just because like i don't like produce 101 i know mm. i'm gonna probably get yelled at yeah. but it's like not my favorite <laughs> i'm never happy with the final group um mm. so i'm i'm not a huge fan of like the tv show thing but i also just don't think big hit would like take this long to debut a band and then be like meh you know Mm -hmm. so i feel like they probably have some big plan and i feel like they learned a lot from bts so i don't fully discount what pilo's saying but i'm not a huge supporter of it either Mm -hmm. and you know we also have to take into account that we when icon and winner debuted it did take them a little while to get where they are now and they were standing in the shadow of big bang so i think we need to part of it yeah i think we need to take that into account too that you know it's they're they're a new group that's gonna take a while Mm -hmm. not every group hits it out the park in the first go and usually they don't last and also i think if they get a lot of support from like their their like brothers their Mm big their bts brothers i think if bts shows that they're really for everything that they're doing their fans will help them i still think that the smartest thing that big hit could do is make sure that suga or um rm are producing their first song because Ooh, that will yeah. definitely get army on board more on board to listen mm-hmm. um i also think that uh, it would obviously be an amazing song so why not <laughs> you know so it's like why yeah. not have them use their talents for that just like um you know having we do energetic for one on one that mm-hmm. was their in my opinion their best song too you know yeah. like having that support helps also you know and i think it brought hui up as almost like a really solid songwriter too made more people aware of him Mm -hmm. so it's a it's a give and take yeah 
I again not fully discounting what Peter is saying because CJ and M is doing it, but yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Moving on to the list. <laughs> it's again, it's a very <laughs> long list. Uh, Twice does another full year of cute concepts, and it'll be a year too long until they realize they need to grow and evolve by doing something more age appropriate. You are probably gonna have more. Of, my opinions of that are probably pretty. That's pretty accurate. <laughs> well, again, I I love the cute concepts. I'm, mm-hmm. I'm 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 a solo person here who likes the cute concepts. I don't mind it, and especially if our predictions are correct, and the next girl group from JYP holds it down for the sexy concept. I feel like that will probably be true, but I don't think it's a bad thing. I don't. I, I disagree on that part. <laughs> yeah, I'm. I think that I think they need to. I just think what we learned from was A Pink this year that like you can age yeah. gracefully into the like girl crush. I don't even think it's sexy. It was kind of weird, you know. Mm. I think it's possible to do that. I don't know with Twice, and I think they could do. An, I think that if they do debut a sexy girl group, that is going to give them at least a year or two more of being able to do cute with nobody being bothered by it. Yeah. And and yeah. the other thing about it is age appropriate. There is a big age gap between the True. oldest and the youngest members in Twice. So it, yeah. age appropriate is still cute, like for them, because yeah. of just the age range that they have. They have still have young members, so yeah. they can still do it. Okay. And then the last yeah. one, Red Velvet okay. single handedly unites the Korean Peninsula and brings world peace. Move wow. over, Sungri. Where did you say you're from? <laughs> <laughs> Peter. <laughs> mm-hmm. The thing is, is, if we're going to swing for the fence, swing for the fence. Like, world peace through red velvet. I do not hate that theory. <laughs> yeah, no, that's a, that's a beautiful, beautiful vision for the future. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so now that we're done with theirs, mm-hmm. Michaela, what do you think lies in store for what 2019? What do I think? Well, yes. <laughs> um, I really think we are probably going to get another tour from BTS probably mm-hmm. or at least another big tour from a boy group um, but I'm not sure that if, like I said if it is BTS it'll be really interesting to see if BTS or Big Hit can actually pull off a bi- another big tour for them while also debuting another group because mm-hmm. yeah they make a lot of money but they're still a small group they're not as big as SM Entertainment and can maybe they're just such a it. small company still and yeah. they don't I don't even know if they have the like um, the uh, right amount of people like to support that mm-hmm. like they're bringing in a lot of money but it's because they only have had to focus on one group who's so successful mm-hmm. yeah I think it'll be an interesting thing now will I be going to that tour <laughs> yes I will be <laughs> of course do I do I hope that they don't plan the tour for when I plan my Korea trip mm-hmm. unless it's in Korea while I'm there yes I would like them to plan around me but yes, I do think I do think it's going to be an interesting thing to see how this tour would go. Are they going to be doing stadiums? Not that they can fill them. Yeah, I mean, Maybe. I think a stadiums are kind of a given at this point, especially. Oh God, I hate stadiums. <laughs> I mean, it's yeah. obviously it's it's not as a as a attendee of the concert. It's not ideal, but it it a stadium yeah, awesome. tour isn't. I mean, it's it's a big possibility now. Yeah. 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 Okay. And okay. Then, what else? What else you got? And then again, talking about tours, I think Monster X is mm. really starting to gain more in, of an international fandom. I know Pilo agrees with me on this, and they'll probably, you know, do another U.S. tour and maybe more collaborations with U.S. artists. I mm-hmm. mean, they had a good collaboration with Gallant this year, uh, so it's not far off to say that that's going to happen again this next year. Yeah, and they just did Jingle Ball, so they just met yeah. a bunch of U.S. artists. That could be really their in for that. Yeah, no, they killed the Jingle Ball. All their performances mm-hmm. were amazing. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And you got another one? The, just the last one. Last little one. Okay, cool. Big comeback from Card because they're holding it down for the mm. co-ed groups now that Triple H's controversy has kind of led them to disbandment so I feel like they really need to push a big comeback next year to prove that they can actually work as a co-ed group yeah. and this you know the, the the curse of the co-ed controversy isn't going to affect them yeah I think that if anybody's going to do it it's them they really are like brothers and sisters mm-hmm. I think although all of us are like trying to ship them they're like ew gross that's my <laughs> brother exactly yeah Okay, yeah. but Ariana, Ariana, what are your predictions? Oh, okay, 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 okay. I think I can do this. Okay, so I think the one that is actually 
the most obvious to me. Mm-hmm. And I think is like not really that like swing for the fences kind of prediction is that and I'm doing this based on like the year that they had in 2018 because they had two amazing comebacks and they had a US tour. I think 2019 will be a huge year for day six. Yes. I think it's going to be huge. Yes. And I actually think that they're going to win some big awards this year. I think they have like a possibility to win like some of the more major awards. I definitely think they could win some shows. Mm-hmm. This last song that just came out, if it had come out before December 5th, would be on my top 20 list. It would probably be in my top six. You know, it's a fantastic song. Yeah. So I think it's going to be a good year for them. Mm-hmm. And they did yeah. win one award this year. They won the Genie Music Award for Best Band Performance, and they were nominated for a lot of awards. But obviously with Mama... Uh, JYP yeah. and SM artists weren't there. So no, it was SM and YG. Oh, sorry, SM JYP and YG. were there, but but they were per- they were performing their new song oh. um, on the TV shows, so they couldn't go. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. But it's like, and then that's the thing is that like we don't get a lot of bands, and I feel like they're really. I think in general, bands this year, like, um, oh, who was the other one who did Hot Potato um, and Flying? Yeah, and flying. Like, this was a good year for bands, and I really Mm want to see. I feel like Day Six is just my favorite coming out of this because this their comebacks this year were amazing. But yeah, I think it's a good year. I think it's a good year for bands. Um, Okay, my second one. Okay, so with the success of Red Velvet, uh, specifically in this past year, Mm -hmm. I think we're going to see another dual concept girl group, and they're going to debut with both complex choreography and strong vocals. And I think that's only to prove that ladies can handle more than one concept at a time. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Because I, I, when I got into K-pop, I did not understand. Okay, so this girl group only does this thing, and this girl group only does this thing. Mm -hmm. Can that group do that thing? And my boyfriend's like, they can, but they don't. And I came in just as Red Velvet was getting popular. So I came in, like, early early two thousand late two two 2015 early 2016 oh yeah yeah and so it's like i came in and i was like but this girl group is doing it and i think that <laughs> other people can and i think we should see that mm-hmm. so i think that we will see that this year i think that they're going to they are almost building in a, a next generation for girl groups mm-hmm. and i mean we've That's already mine. kind of kind of seen that with clc a little this mm-hmm. year um but i think you know with the the, the debut of idol or g idol or Yolja Idol or whatever they're called. Yep. They that's kind of pulled some focus away from them at least from mm-hmm. Cube. So we'll yeah. see. I, yeah. I, I well, agree I think with you. I, I would love to see it personally as well. Yeah. I mm-hmm. think it'd be great. Okay. Next third. Stray Kids is gonna have a mega hit that will make waves on the American charts. And I'm thinking Whoa. of the in the way that Pentagon did this past year with Shine. Yeah. I think we're gonna get that from Stray Kids. Because I think Stray Kids is already one of the biggest debuts Mm. in years and i think that like i have not stopped liking one of their songs so i feel like they really can and i was like really skeptical of them (laughs) my boyfriend has been trying to get me into them since the tv show and i was like "Eh, i don't wanna you know like i'm (laughs) at my limit but they really have knocked it out of the park and i think that they have all the pieces there they have like four english speakers you know and I also don't think that even matters I think their music is incredible and I think that I think that this was their debut year I think that they put out the right kind of content to mate a lot of waves over here mm-hmm. okay okay you have you don't have any <laughs> no <laughs> dis- disagreements okay good no, I feel good about that one <laughs> um this is just as booty 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 rocking everywhere is Peter's hope and a prediction. Mm-hmm. I also predict and hope that Big Hit will Big Hit will concede to the demands of me and I'm assuming se- several Twitter followers <laughs> and put Jen in a crop top so I can see his abs. <laughs> oh wow. That's all that's needed for 2019 because mm-hmm. it's it's supposed to happen. Of it's course. It's the year. Yeah. It, it I don't is, even know how to your crop top, but I do need to see those abs. <laughs> I need to see it. I need to make. I need them to make it apparent like it's time to see Jen's abs. Mm. Um, okay, and lastly, and I think this is a bigger one. I think that we can leave this a little bit more open. But I think that with this past year in 2018, mm. we are seeing the beginning of Gen Four. 
So popping so up. Twenty nineteen will definitely you say is the beginning of Gen Four. I think it I think that there are other groups that fall into this. I think Stray Kids is the perfect example mm-hmm. of the furthering of Gen Three into Gen Four. Mm-hmm. Now we can just call this like Gen Three point five because I think <laughs> it is you know, if Gen Three is marked by, you know, the artists being more in control of their music. Yeah. Gen four is these kids are literally producing and writing all their own music. Mm-hmm. You know, we see we saw it with Pentagon too. Unfortunately, their main writer is gone now. Mm-hmm. Um, wonder who that could be. Um, <laughs> you know, and I think that you know. So right now, for me, it's Stray Kids is the good, the best example of that. Mm-hmm. Of there's a full control over the music. Yeah, of course they still have like the in-house producers take you know take on stuff. They still have. Um, a lot of like probably overhead on that, but the three main boys, um, three racha, I believe is their their term. Say racha. Um, three racha. They they not only write the music, but they produce the music and they touch almost all of their songs, which is huge. Yeah. Um. Now, what do I want to see in Gen Four? I also want to see a girl group do that. Yes. I want it because we normally don't see that until girls become soloists. Mm-hmm. I want to see a girl group that is brought very specifically to produce or even just write the songs. Um, I think that that would be really important as part of Gen 4 is not lose the females in this. Um, but yeah, I think that that's what I think 2019 will know for sure. Yeah, that Hashtag would be my thing. 2019 support girl groups. Yeah, 2018, 2019, 2020. We're yeah. gonna keep going forward until it's like fully there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Cool. Okay, yeah. So yeah, I think that 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 pretty much concludes this K-pop hot issue. Mm-hmm. Um, if you have more that you want to say on this topic, please tweet us at the K-pop cast. And don't forget to stay tuned for our big end of the year episode. It's coming soon. Yes. As well as, yes, as well as don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and tell your friends. Mm -hmm. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Bye. Have a happy.